Welcome back. Alright, I know I'm super late, but I am going to play episode 4 now. Because I just now found time. And moreover, I got a new mic. I don't know if you could tell, but I did. So yeah. Eh, well, I'll just adjust my seat. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, there we go. Previously on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? By being a good mother. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead. And I can't help but feel I'm to blame. Because you are. <laughs> Fucker. Oh. No! No! Stop me! Oh. Kenny! Kenny! Oh. When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walking that's all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. You mm, just have to keep delicious. calm and make sure oh. you're good and covered. Oh, yeah. Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going anywhere. Damn straight. Oh! Oh, I forgot about that. Right, and then I did not cut off her hand. And I totally went against what I said, too. I feel like such a hypocrite. It's like, oh man, we should just cut it off. And I don't cut it off. Come! No! Wow, that was quick. Already got an achievement? What? Make any noise. You've been through this before. I think I may have just gotten his kill. Ooh, that was a close one. I was about to say, like, did I just get his kill? Damn it! Go back! Go back! Ah! Jane! Jane! Thank God! Stop! Relax. You need to walk slowly. You'll be fine. I can't do this. You have to help us. <laughs> 
can't clump together like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. No, you don't understand. Just help us. I'll stay close and watch out for Rebecca. Your choice. Come on, Beck, let's move. I wouldn't want you dying now. Let's get your ass moving. Damn it. Aw, oh, Jane has a heart. We'll have to push through that cluster of walkers. There's so many. We'll make a cow catcher. Just what we need. Okay, just tell me what to do. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. Jane's smart. I like you. I can't come back for you. Thing's called a cow catcher? Why is it called a cow catcher? Michonne never called it a cow catcher. Then again, I don't think Michonne ever called it anything. <laughs> Out of the way! Big and efficient. I like Jane. Ah, uh, Carlos. Episode four. Amid the ruins. <laughs> I don't know. Mark Darren. Eric St Sturp. It's gone now, but Eric Sturp. Hey, when did we get clean? How did we get clean? That baby coming soon. Is everything all right? No, I'm not all right. Well, shit. Uh, <laughs> but I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. All right. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? They'll be there. They'll be there. They have to. If they aren't... Nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? We'll watch out for each other. So long as we keep up a good pace. I know, I know. Just, I'm going as fast as I can. Uh, this darned baby. I know I should feel glad that we escaped. But I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? You didn't have a choice. It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have. I don't know. Jane saved us. I don't know how we would have gotten out without you. You don't give yourself enough credit. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, Things might have turned out better. Of course! Good point. We panicked! We were scared! The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No! No, that's not what I'm saying. Back. Just... Uh oh, that's not good. Ah, uh, shit. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. Jane, cold, harsh, effective, but still has a heart. Alvin I like Jane. Be here for this. Oh, Beck. Is Alvin? He's dead, is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Have Rebecca, to are you going to be okay? What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. It was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? 
My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. Yeah, and? And? Guys, that baby is coming, like it or not. Fine. And then what? It's going to be helpless, and you can't protect it. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't whoa, mean whoa, you bag. know better than me. Hey, bag. I've seen Calm it before. Down. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? Damn, Beck! I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. Jane, wait. Oh, damn it. Beck. You've got a temper. Jane is remarkably patient. And God damn it, Beck. Hey, Bonnie and Dude in the face. I don't remember his I name. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long. <sighs> We were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. How's Sarita? I tried to talk to Ken. He flipped out on me. Started yelling. Scary shit. I know. He probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. Oh, God. She's in a bad spot. She in a bad way right now. I hate to say it. Sarita's on her way out. She's probably gonna turn soon. Is, uh, is he gonna take care of her? Jane! I know it's not pretty, but it's better than the alternative. It's not our decision to make. But it's the one that's gotta be made. We're already up the creek enough without a walker to worry about. Just let me talk to him first. It's alright, Sarita. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna be here with you. Right till the end. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? Kenny. I said we just wanted a little fucking time alone to say goodbye. <gasps> shh, shh, shh. It's okay, babe. It's okay. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna do what we gotta do. Gonna play the shit hand that this shit world dealt us. I'm just worried about you. Hear you hear that, babe? Clementine says she's worried about me. Okay. I'm sorry that Sarita dying has got your little head all worried. Being angry won't help anything. No, because it's sure as hell helping me. Damn it, Kenny. Everyone's scared. We don't know what to do. Enough, Clementine. I've had enough of this bullshit. God damn it, Kenny. Now for the last time, just leave us alone to say goodbye. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem. How'd it go? Have to let him deal with it on his own. It doesn't matter. We need to come up with a plan. Clem's are at. Especially with that baby on the way. At least you try. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water. It's getting damn cold. And we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike. Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Well, then let's Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. What? Suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? We should go find Luke, Sarah, and Nick. Exactly. If they're in trouble, we might be able to help them. Clementine's right. After everything, after all this, if there's any chance they're still alive, Take it. I'll go. Clem can come with me. Alright then. Can't do much 
to help with the baby, so might as well. However, I believe I'm cutting these off at 15 minutes. No, actually, no. <laughs> it's been a while. I could Thank be wrong, you. but I think I used to cut it off at 15. I'm gonna cut it off at 20. And after this part, I'm gonna check if I do cut it off at 20. Listen, Rebecca, but I'm not quite sure. If anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to? I don't know, but you better keep that close. Sorry for Come the abrupt stop, but I, I thought that I cut it off at 15 minutes. Is that reminding you of something? Or is that foreshadow or... Look, I'm gonna level with you. Alright then. You should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. I don't know about oh, that. God. We shouldn't give up before we've even looked. Okay, but I wanted to talk to you, away from them. Okay. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before, and, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. Damn it, Jane. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other, turning on you. These are good people. We help each other. I can't leave that. You'd be surprised. Damn it, Jane. How much help is Kenny going to be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're going to get are broken decisions. How can you get along without trusting anyone? That's exactly how I get along. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Yeah. Then yeah, why do. did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could've. Oh. That's why she's attached to Clementine, or like she likes Clementine. She can survive and she, I assume, reminds her of J Jamie. I always wanted a sister. I used to make my babysitter Sandra play a game that we were secret sisters. It was stupid kid stuff. No. You know, being a big sister is, well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. <laughs> oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, <laughs> I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. I don't even know why. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no. It's not all bad, but... <laughs> what could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia But the best part wasn't the rides It was that nobody knew us there And I'd, I'd pretend we weren't sisters Just friends <clears throat> Oh, Jane All right, jackpot What'd you find? Bet these walkers got some good stuff Ah. That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. Yeah, we should check him out. But nice you know one. why, right? Only because they're fresh. Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. Good point. They might have useful stuff. Good point. What? <laughs> See what else he's got. I just love how I'll casual check this one. does. Just all right. What do we got here? Okay, we got uh, oh, some shells. Hold on to them. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. 
Okay, uh, what do we got in the other pocket? We've got, um... ID cards. Find anything? Driver's licenses. Two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. Hmm. There were people. Can't forget that. However, they have stuff! Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? Oh! What a burn! I'll be right back.